Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about principal engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what prevents software engineers from moving up to a principal engineer or tech lead position? And how can this be overcome? Usually it is one of two things it can be both but most of the time it's either because the person has a lot of bad ideas or just in general like they they have the right attitude it's very rare that someone wants to get to this point um, without uh, having some enthusiasm because that could be another thing but uh, most of the time enthusiasm is not enough you just don't get what is valuable to the people in power and the thing that actually makes the difference for an IT company and the second thing is usually that they lack the personal aptitude to be one of these engineers where they they're they're not really social they're not really a people person and the higher up the ladder you come the more this usually matters it is absolutely possible for you to be like this die-hard expert for the for a specific t piece of tech and so forth but even uh, it, there you will get to a point where that is no longer enough because the thing is guys the reality of being an expert uh, is that if unless someone can appreciate your expertise and acknowledge it it doesn't really matter to anybody except for you if you are this performer who's just sitting in the closet somewhere next to the server rack nobody really care as long as you're doing your thing you're nobody really cares about you the thing that the real masters of of this area ha are doing is that they go on tech talks and if you've never really thought about that why do you, how do you think uh, say martin fowler and uncle bob and whoever else you're looking at how do you think their companies are doing based like their companies are reaping massive rewards from the fact that they are doing tech talks and it's the very similar sort of thing if you want to be a principal engineer if you want your company to really recognize you and see that yeah you actually should have a higher position within this company you're going to have to prove that you have influence on other developers and you don't get influence by sitting by yourself and never talking to anybody so those are the two things now usually what I see is that the, like the hardest thing and this is usually what I see in mid-levels and the junior developers uh, and especially the most idealistic ones w which is the first part I was talking about they have bad ideas what I mean by bad ideas is not that they're stupid or that they're like that they're not passionate or things like that it's just that they focus a lot on things that they believe are important but are simply not the sort of thing that the people with the money or the like the managers they actually care about an example would be that if uh, if you are really excited about trying radically new work processes or you're really excited about mob coding or te unit testing or whatever it, you have to understand that just because you're excited about something it doesn't necessarily make that thing important to other people and unless you can get other people in many cases it's going to be other engineers to find the thing that you're saying and doing valuable and engaging it's not really you're selling well, you're, you're, you're selling something that you believe is valuable but nobody else can see the value of and that is a really big problem for you because being a principal engineer or being a tech lead type of character is in many cases a role which kind of requires you to have leadership you're at the very you need leadership skills in order to be able to do this effectively uh, because otherwise you're for all intents and purposes just going to be another manager and we have so many so many pointless middle managers who lit I mean I cannot imagine a role that is less useful uh, when we're dealing with high performant uh, engineers and so forth so uh, so and that is a role that is not the same thing as you being the tech lead you in order for you to become a tech lead or a principal engineer or something like that in many cases unless you really do want to be in management 
you need to prove yourself in a different way. I'd like to say that you have to influence people more than anything else. Management is a slightly different thing. There is absolutely a level of influence involved in it, but for you it's a different path to success. You will have to take a different path in many cases. And in many cases it really comes down to this simple thing. Can you drive initiatives? And in order for you to be able to drive initiatives, you're going to have to have good ideas. If you have initiatives that nobody really cares about and you don't really get any feedback on it, then your ideas aren't really good. I've seen this happen many, many times. And it usually is the case that very enthusiastic engineers who have really bad ideas, they just don't see the fact that they, or they don't want to admit that their ideas are bad. They simply don't understand, and many in many cases it is because they are, too, they are too idealistic or too junior to see this. They don't really see that nobody's really turning up to uh, their their workshops or their lunch uh, learning lunches or whatever nobody really cares like they get a very very mild interest and that is something that you will have to figure out in order to be a principal engineer or see your managers really acknowledge you which also ties into the second thing you need to do tech talks or you need to well tech talks in not necessarily in your meetups but you need to drive initiatives you need to be as, as i said a sociable person you need to get people engaged you need to produce a uh, a environment where people look at you as some type of guru or some type of expert or someone at the very least who is very enthusiastic and really has a positive impact on the people that work in your work in your uh, community or your your uh, place of work those are the two things. So having good ideas and being able to influence people in a positive way. Those are the two main factors that you need to do in order to overcome this. Now, I will give you a bit of personal advice on this. The easiest way for you to get here is to, is to earn this place. This is the, like I usually say that the only people who really make it in management are either the people who get paid on day one to do it or the people who have the ability, uh, who can inspire. If you can inspire people, you will become an inofficial leader. And that is a much more powerful thing than being a manager. But uh, the, uh, the, you will not be able to get to a leadership position without inspiring people unless you really are being paid from basically day one to do this thing. Engineers follow people they believe in, just as soldiers would in many cases nobody cares like you're talking to engineers and engineers respect one thing above all else and that is how good are you at the craft that is number one in other words can you produce results are you clever do you have good solutions or do can they see the validity of the suggestions that you are making do they see that you are producing and you're producing well and you're teaching them things they are feel and they feel that you really have value to bring to the table concrete things that you are actually doing words are just words words are usually the thing that you give people when you have nothing else to give them and they are very important but at some point you're gonna have to deliver results in nothing nothing is as uh, it, that nothing speaks as much to people as results Words are great, but you're gonna have to bring in some results. And I think that the, this is the way that this is the we real way uh, you overcome your limitations and you actually start rising above your peers or becoming a principal engineer or something like that. You have to show people that you are worth listening to, and that's not gonna happen with you just giving some small tech talks on MV on like agile work practices or stuff like that. You have to solve real problems and you have to make people feel as if by listening to you it makes a difference or letting you do things or the initiatives that you are you are working on these are good improvements they are making a difference that they can feel because if people can't feel the impact that you have they will not follow you so what i want you to take away from this is that the main two reasons usually people are held back from getting into a tech lead position or a principal engineer or some type of character like that is number one because they have really bad ideas 
or ideas that nobody really cares about and that is a really really important thing in order for you to hear have any impact on people you have to make them see the value in what you're saying they have to feel it if they don't feel it they're not going to turn up to the meetings they're not going to help you when you ask them to help you because you're not going to be able to create all the solutions yourself you're going to have to have allies you're going to have to have people who believe in the visions that you deliver and that is the way the way that you earn that is different for every community but i can tell you from personal experience in the engineering community it's about results convenience great making tools that people feel are useful or convenient or improve things and so forth that's what gets people excited it's the exact same thing google and facebook and all of these other it companies are doing you're producing results you're producing products and work processes that make people feel like wow this really helped me therefore you respect these people the, that come up with these solutions and you have to do the same sort of thing you don't have to do it at that scale you can do it at your company but you still have to deliver on those results and the second thing is usually that people who are not very sociable they don't really enjoy engaging with people and having a lot of meetings and talks and so forth they also never reach this point because once you get to that point uh, a lot of what you do is to manage people talk to people make them see uh, uh, see and understand vision and things like that a lot of it is communication and that is something that you overcome by as i was saying being more involved hosting your own tech talks your own presentations and talking to people being involved in community work etc uh, etc et you have to build up your personal brand because one thing i can promise you is that nothing is as easy as a leading when you have people who admire you listening have a great day